Hello, I am your cyborg instructor and I will be teaching you how to be a Helms officer. I assure you I am better than any human instructor you have ever had. So, listen up or be assimilated. Just kidding, ha ha ha. Now, this role can be quite fun, but is also very demanding. Let's take a look at the controls. Shown here is the Helms control panel with an additional view of the ship on the right. Normally the additional view would not be there, but the 3D view helps illustrate what the controls actually do. In the center of the screen you see a round radar window. Click anywhere in this window to turn the ship in that direction. Notice the heading numbers around the outer rim, those will come in handy later. The radar window visible to the helms officer is limited to 5U, represented here by the light grey circle around the ship. The play area is expansive. You must rely on information from the science and relay officer to effectively navigate. The science officer has a 25U radius on their radar window, and the relay officer has a map of the entire sector. Waypoints, placed by the relay officer, can point you in the direction of your next objective. Each object in space is represented by a radar symbol displayed on your radar window. Watch for these as you fly through space. Use this information to your advantage. For example, fly into a nebula to conceal your ship from other vessels. Or fly into a planet to die instantaneously. The sliders in the bottom left of the screen control different methods of propulsion. The helms officer can propel the vessel forward using the impulse engine by sliding the impulse dial upward. And propel the ship backward by sliding it down. This method of travel is relatively slow, but uses little power. Work with the engineering officer to manage power levels. Beautiful, isn't it? Let's fire up the jump drive. Jumping moves the vessel instantaneously, passing through any obstacles along its path. Use this ability with caution because it costs large amounts of energy. The jump drive distance must be set using the slider. Coordinate with the science and relay officer to determine the appropriate distance. We are going to jump around 8 units, just on the other side of the space station. Hold on to your space-time continuum. It may be a bumpy ride. The jump takes 10 seconds to initiate, and will take time to recharge afterward before it can be used again. I swear it is perfectly safe. There is no need to be alarmed. We have arrived safely on the other side of the space station. Hooray! Now I will demonstrate how to use the warp drive. Use the warp slider to increase forward speed significantly. Even on the lowest setting warping is very fast and very dangerous. Be vigilant of obstacles that may cause you to explode. I have asked the relay officer to place a waypoint at the location of a nearby enemy ship. Let's pay them a visit. Shall we? It appears the weapons officer has decided to send the enemy vessel a couple of presents from the starboard missile tubes. In combat the helms officer must work together with the weapons officer to orient the ship most effectively. The red arcs at the bow of the ship represent engagement zones for the beam weapons. I will now engage the enemy with the beam weapons. Preferably, an attack plan has been made prior to enemy engagements but as you are not a cyborg, like myself, you are prone to mistakes. I bet that hurt. In the event of an incoming barrage, utilize the combat maneuvers pad to evade imminent missile strikes. This will quickly move the ship, but can also damage the impulse engines. This foe is static, but the enemies you will face will not be so eager to die. They will evade and retaliate. You will need a plan. At this point their bridge probably resembles something like this. Boom. The final lesson will cover docking with friendly space stations. To dock, the ship must be within 1U of the station. Press the request dock button and the ship will automatically dock itself to the best of its ability. If the station is in motion you must position the ship along the path of the space station to dock successfully. To put it simply, get in front of the moving station and let it come to you. While docked, 
the ship will recharge energy rapidly and repair the hull. The relay officer can also replenish supplies and communicate with the station. Please do not press buttons while docked. You might break something. Press the undock button when everyone is ready to leave. This completes your training as the helms officer. Live long and prosper.